finished a workshop in Geneva with some architects, Colin, uh, Barbara, um, Igor, Ashley, uh, with some of the guys and ladies there, and we were talking about how to communicate an extreme advantage, and one of the things we talked about was the FAB formula where you talk about features, advantage, and benefit. Now, the feature here, this is an airline, I'm trying to book a flight from Barcelona, where we're holding the Mastermind event, to LA so I can get on a main route to get back to New Zealand. I've been away for four months. And the feature is you get to choose, you get to select your seat. So that's the feature. So this is of particular interest to those of you who, who were in Geneva. Um, feature is that. You get to select your seat. Now, here's the benefits over here. As I scroll down, can't get in premium cabin. And as I scroll across, it gives me a bit of a description on... Now, for those of you who don't know, what is value? Value is, partly anyway, how it's going to change someone's life. Right? That's how we simplify what value is, how it's going to change their life. Now, how do you, how do you explain? You know, I mean, select your seat is the feature, but it's not how it's going to change someone's life. Here are some very simple explanations. Seat 5G, for an extra $41, you get more privacy, you get first to get your food, you get a 9-inch screen and a USB and plug-in so that you can do things on your computer. Right? These are all the benefits. Now, um, I guess USB and plug is, is, is logical, but more privacy. First to serve your food. Now, you might say, well, first to serve your food, we all get the food at the same time. I'll tell you what. When I have to wait for about half an hour to get my food and I'm looking at other people eat it, that's a real thing. That is a, that is a life changing event in a negative way. So, actually, getting my food first, I don't know about more privacy. I'm not sure I believe that, but I guess there's only two people looking at you because there's a big wall here. So, I suppose you do get more privacy. You, you get limited recline here, so it's a negative benefit. But. Up here, more you get all four of those things. Now, if I move back, I don't get the privacy anymore because I'm now in a big cabin. But I still get the first to serve food. Now, first to serve food is a, is a broad term because obviously this whole cabin gets, you know, they're all considered their first to get their food. Only one person can be first, but they're, they're giving the whole cabin. Oh, no, they're not back here. They're not back here. Yeah, in the front half of the cabin, it's considered your first to get your food. So these are all benefits. And then as we go back, limited recline. Yeah, then they're now talking about aisle. Well, okay. And then at the real back, over here, you only get three things. Wi-Fi on, wi -Fi on demand. Okay, you don't even get Wi-Fi, but it's on demand, whereas it must be up the front. Oh no, they all get Wi-Fi on demand. No, these guys get Wi-Fi as of right but it doesn't say that, okay? But anyway, this is a good example of listing the benefits. The th you know, how is this feature, this thing that you're offering, which is the ability to select your seat, how is that going to change my life? And, you know, I know it's not going to change your life in a huge way, but, but we're looking for even small improvements in someone's life, and this is a good example of an airline doing it. I think I've made the point, but particularly those of you who are in Geneva, um, in the workshop we were talking about this, it's a good example to see how an airline is doing exactly that, pointing out the life-changing experience that some of their more expensive features can deliver them.